Hi, my name is Angela Kim. I'm the head of analytics and AI at Teachers Health, Women in AI, Education Ambassador, and Global Head and APEC Ambassador for Women in AI nonprofit, um, Du Tank, based in um, France. Today, I'd like to talk about how to embed ethical, explainable, diverse, and inclusive AI in AI ecosystem. Why ethical and responsible AI? The breadth of um, application, AI can be applied to a huge range of problems and also scale of impact. A single AI system may affect millions of people. Lastly, novelty. New technologies give rise to problems we have not considered before. For these reasons, people are talking about why it is so important to foster ethical AI in for the community and the citizens. So when you talk about ethics in AI, we need to discuss about how computers understanding the world. It can understand as a perception, which can be vision and speech, also cognition, which are languages and knowledge. So when you talk about how to embed ethical, explainable, diverse, and inclusive AI in AI ecosystem, as computers behave more like humans, how will they impact real people? Skilling up for AI power the future requires more than science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. As computers behave more like humans, the social sciences and humanities will become more important. From the perceptive of responsible AI, the main issues of concern are how AI systems are developed and the also societal implications of intelligent action by such systems. The central concepts of artificial intelligence, that is action, goals, knowledge, belief, consciousness, have long been the focus of philosophical reflection. But where computer science mostly takes an engineering stance concerned with the questions of how to build these concepts into machines. So when you talk about how ethical AI by design can ensure maximizing the value created by AI for the community and citizens, we need to talk about the framework of the ethics of AI. So there are four main the streams of the pillars underpinned by transparency and accountability. So those four pillars are fairness, reliability, and safety, privacy, and security, and inclusiveness. They are fully based on transparency and accountability. That brings back to our discussion about the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which states, all human begin beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with a reason and conscience and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. Human in the loop solutions are often the most appropriate for many situations as they allow for a more clear attribution of responsibilities. However, responsibility does not lie solely with the individual who takes the actual decision, but is the product of societal, legal, and physical infrastructures that support or constrain the situation. Given the fundamental and profound impact of AI systems in human society, the development of AI technology cannot be done in isolation from its socio-technical context. A full understanding of societal 
ethical and policy impacts requires us to analyze the larger context of its implications and societal actors, researchers and citizens, policy makers, businesses, non-governmental organizations, etc. work together during the whole research and innovation process in order to better align both the process and its outcomes with the values, needs and expectations of society. So, when you talk about accountable, responsible and transparent AI, you have to discuss about how they come together in socio-technical environment and ecosystem and adaptability and interaction and autonomy comes all together in AI system. So let's talk about who is responsible for fostering the ethical AI ecosystem. You have to discuss about openness and transparency and diversity and inclusion, anticipation and reflection, and responsiveness and autonomy. When you talk about responsible AI ecosystem, within that ecosystem, you have business and industry, researchers and education institutions, civil and society, and policy makers to really collaborate properly to promote ethical AI. Transparent interactive process by which societal actors and innovators become mutually responsive to each other with a view to ethical acceptability, sustainability, and societal desirability of the innovation process and its marketable products. Responsiveness and adaptiveness are needed to deal with a dynamic context and with possible emerging knowledge, data, perspective, views and norms. They require an ongoing interaction with the stakeholders and an ability to change patterns of thoughts and behaviors as well as roles and responsibilities in response to emerging perspectives and insights in the context. Now, let's have a more meaningful conversation about accountability, transparency, and responsibility. Ensuring that systems are designed responsibly contributes to our trust in their behavior and requires accountability that is being able to explain and justify decisions and transparency, which means being able to understand the ways systems make decisions and the data being used to this effect. We have proposed the principles of accountability, transparency and responsibility follows a design for values approach as briefly touched on previously to ensure that human values and ethical principles and their priorities and choices are explicitly included in the design processes in a transparent and systematic manner. True responsibility in AI is not just about how we design these technologies, but how we define their success, even if a system is built to be safe and robust, comply with legal regulations, and be economically viable, it can still have dramatic negative consequences on human and societal well-being. Issues such as mental health emotions identity, autonomy, or dignity, which are key components of what makes us human and not those that are measured by the usual key for performance indicators. Ensuring responsible AI in practice to deliver ethical AI in the time of uncertainty requires to have a really um, thorough discussion and um, conversation on three core principles 
that can help leaders think through AI's ethical implication. The first component is an impact. The moral quality of a technology depends on its consequences. Risks and benefits must be weighed. Non malfeasance avoid harm. Beneficence advance the flourishing of people and societies. We need to consider the impact of automated AI system, how it can really contribute to the society and help people to thrive in digital economy. The next the point I'd like to really um, highlight today is about justice. People should be treated fairly. So procedural fairness. So to promote the fair treatment for the people. This, this, at this moment, I'd like to bring in the component of diversity and inclusion of ethical AI. So when you think about the data we used is not the fair data, or we haven't cons considered bringing a particular minority group of um, demogra demographic um, the, um, the segment of people, then the data is biased. And also the team who's working on a particular AI project is only made up of one kind of you know, racial background or gender background or even cultural background, all different sorts of background, then it's almost impossible to promote diverse and ethical um, thinking framework, which means we will be more than likely miss out the particular the component of um, the background which will lead to um, unfair treatment based on the particular AI algorithm um, which serves to the product and also services to the people. Another point, when you talk about the justice, you have to think about distributive fairness, which means promoting equitable outcomes. Again, this links back to, not, again, diverse and inclusive um, um, the team and also the thoughts that put into to create this particular AI program. Because when you think about the outcome produced by this particular AI, the automation or algorithm serves um, only one particular core of people due to the biased algorithm, they, can't, they cannot promote equitable outcomes. And that's against distrib distributive fairness. The last point I'd like to talk about is autonomy. People should be able to make their own choice free of manipulative forces. This is very important because um, when you talk about the digital platforms, a lot of nudging um, the, the, um, the marketing technology is applied to um, serve the product to the people. And people not know, knowing me, um, what filter is applied to them, they are nudged to make particular decision which is really beyond their um, thinking of what's happening. The last component I'd like to talk about is autonomy. So autonomy is talking about people should be able to make their own choice, free of manipulative forces. So when you really talk about autonomy, you're talking about comprehension. Explain how to use and when to use, when to trust AI. So people should be well educated to understand when they're using the service based on particular AI um, algorithm or services and product, they should know that what kind of consent and what kind of um, the contract you are binding into in terms of um, understanding the consequence of it. So that's really highly linking towards the trust in AI. So when we talk about comprehension, you have to talk about the control as well. So what does control mean here in autonomy context? Control means 
allowing people to modify or override the AI when appropriate. That means people have um, the freedom to control the situation in the AI ecosystem, whether you are served up or whether you are actually working to create it. You need to be able to control how, what is, um, how much is automated and what consequences is going to um, bring out based on the particular process or program. And also everyone's clearly aware of the bound boundaries and the outcomes and the goals. Of course, it is not going to be a very simple task and it's evolving um, continuously because a lot of you know, forums like this um, the event really in, empower a lot of you know, um, audiences and technology people to be aware of what's really required to really promote responsible AI and what are the drivers and how you can we actually work together to bring out ethical, responsible, and the transparent and explainable and human-centered, diverse and inclusive AI for the human being. So when you talk about ethics in AI, some technologists are talking about the Hippocrat Oath. So Hippocratic Oath really is for doctors. Um, they before, before they become doctors, they are really um, you know, do solemn oath about um, do not harm because they are aware of, fully aware of what kind of contract they are binding into because they are dealing with human lives and on their hands, they really have a life and death. But how about AI systems that brings out a lot of unex unexpected consequences? Sometimes you are talking about human lives. Driverless cars that is built based on algorithms that hasn't taken care of particular the segment of the population as a result. The machine learning, the AI system does not recognize particular races as a human and it um, creates and results in unexpected disaster, disastrous consequences. How can you say who's responsible for that? And how can you turn the clock back? You can't undo the damages. So we need to think about, could we see a Hippocratic Oath for coders like we see for doctors? That's another conversation we should be really having when you talk about ethical AI and how to really foster diverse, inclusive, and human centers and responsible, transparent, and explainable AI for the community and citizens. Well, I really discussed about with you about all the factors really affecting um, responsible AI, but still, I don't think we have fully covered everything because AI and the technology is evolving so rapidly. And all these problems we've discussed just now are just the tip of the iceberg. So that's why it is so important so that we can really participate in this kind of meaningful tech um, the forums and event to really understand what's happening, to leverage each other's insights and learnings and different perspectives because there's no one-size-fits-all solutions and it's really different by case by case which means we need to bring every different perspectives with the people with different all various backgrounds all different various you know age groups and cultural background and gender and also different um, societal um, the status and so that we can ensure that the team is diverse and inclusive enough so that we've taken care of all these ethical components 
of AI so that we can minimize the risk and we can minimize unintended biases that will be resulted in by all the algorithm-based products and services. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed the discussions of ethical AI and how to embed ethical, explainable, diverse and inclusive AI in AI ecosystem with me. Bye for now. Thank you.